Okay. Oh shit! <laughs> you have that? <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to look at the Moza Aircross S gimbal. This is a three-in-one gimbal which you can use not only with a small DSLR camera or action camera but also with your smartphone. So if you're looking for a future-proof gimbal then you might consider getting this one. Now I haven't been paid by Moza however they did send me this gimbal to test out. Everything that I will say in this video will be my honest opinion and there's so many gimbals on the market. So I'm gonna help you out finding the right gimbal for your shooting needs by showing you uh, what this gimbal can do. Now, for those that are interested in filming high quality videos with your smartphone, make sure to check out smartphonefilmmaking.com, which is the best online course teaching you how to produce great looking videos on your phone. Now, before we get into the content, I first wanna to explain to you why you might need a gimbal for your smartphone. In this case, with the Moza Aircross S, it, you are able to carry a heavier payload. So if you have a smartphone setup that requires, you know, uh, add-on lenses or maybe even a microphone, then you might need a gimbal that is more powerful to, you know, carry that heavier payload. And that is what the Aircross S is great for. All right, so let's first talk about what you get inside the package. So you get this nice case by Moza and there are different compartments inside as well. Ta-da! We got the Moza gimbal right over here. So you get like an USB-C cable to charge the gimbal. Uh, what you also get is a phone clamp that you can use if you plan on shooting you know content with your phone uh, you got an arca swiss plate which i really like you know for quickly detaching it from the gimbal and then maybe mounting it on your tripod and then you also get the l bracket over here which allows you to shoot not only in horizontal mode but quickly switch to vertical mode which i will show you guys later and of course you also get a mini tripod which is great if you want to place it on a flat surface uh, and also take a time lapse. Ooh, my hands are freezing. So let's now talk about the build and design quality of the Moza Aircross S. The build quality feels okay. The housing and the grip is made out of plastic and the three axis gimbal is made out of aluminum. Uh, you have a, the joystick button to the left side, uh, which is only great really for right-handed people. If you're left-handed, then you're out of luck. This gimbal isn't for you. Now the joystick button is quite sensitive. I suggest you change it. I usually set it very low. This way I have better control over the movement of the gimbal. What you also get is a nice display that shows you the battery life uh, as well as the current mode you're in. You also got a button over here to change modes. Then you have the power on off button to the side over here. And if you press it once, the gimbal actually goes to sleep. Now what's also really great is that you can lock all three motors. Uh, this way the motors will stay in place. This is especially great if you you know, want to bring a gimbal with you and have it outside of your bag and don't want the motors to move around. That could be really annoying. Then you also have a trigger button on the back and a recording button for supported devices. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with smartphones. I hope Moza will update that in the future. Now I'm gonna show you how to mount and balance uh, this gimbal. We're gonna use a heavier setup because that is, I think, the main purpose uh, if you wanna get this gimbal because it can handle a heavier payload. And I'm gonna use the Sherpa iPhone filmmaking system, uh, which I recently made a video about with their magnetic filters. If you haven't checked out that video, make sure to check out the link somewhere up here. So let's do that right now. Um, I got the iPhone 14 Pro with the Sherpa case and I got their awesome versatile grip. All right, I think I'm gonna center this. Now I could also use the Arca Swiss plate that is included, but what's great about this grip is that it already has a built-in Arca Swiss standard that I can just slide in. And I'm gonna use the anamorphic lens. So it is quite of a heavy setup. And what I'm also gonna mount is the microphone on top, but we're gonna do that later. So the next thing I'm gonna do is unlock all motors over here. And now I'm gonna slide this in here. Gonna lock it. So I'm now gonna add the 
microphone as well on top. And then I can simply just plug it here to the side. So now that I have everything uh, set up, I'm now gonna make sure that the gimbal is balanced, uh, which means I don't want you know the phone to be dipping on either side. Once you know how to do it, it will get easier. We're good, and then I'm gonna turn it on. And there you have it. And it works really well. You can see it follows my hand movement. And this is a really cool setup, especially you know if you're using a heavy lens like this one. And I think combining it with the Sherpa iPhone system works great. So I'm gonna put the gimbal to sleep by just pressing this button over here. And what's cool is that you can also use it as a vertical setup. If you're someone who posts stories on Instagram, I can just simply um, unlock this part, slide it up, and then just slide this part in like so. Make sure it's secure. You do have to rebalance it. I'm gonna do that right now. And then we can simply turn it on again and you can use it as a vertical setup, which is really cool. It doesn't take much time to set it up. I wouldn't use this vertical setup with an anamorphic lens, but just to demonstrate it to you that you can also definitely use this gimbal to shoot vertical videos. Now you can operate with the gimbal up to 12 hours and the charging time is really fast. It's only one hour. So you'll be ready to shoot in no time. So before we put the gimbal to the test and show you how well it stabilizes the footage, we're first gonna go through all the shooting modes. And by double pressing, I can switch different modes. So right now I'm in tilt follow, so I can tilt. This is the pan follow mode. Then we have FPV mode. Then we have lock mode, which locks all motors. Press hold, it also locks all motors. So this is also a way to activate lock mode. And then if I double press and hold, sport mode is activated. What I also forgot to mention is that you can press the trigger button twice to recenter uh, your camera. And what's also great, if you're someone who likes to vlog, you can actually press three times and use it sort of as a vlogging setup. So this is also a cool option if you plan on filming yourself. So another cool mode is inception mode by just pressing this button three times. This will allow you to rotate the phone and create this awesome uh, inception effect. And you can use the joystick to rotate uh, the camera, which is really cool. Now there's also the Zion Crane M3, which is capable of also carrying a heavier payload. The main difference is that the Crane M3 has a max payload up to 2.2 kilo, while the Moza Aircross S can handle a payload up to 1.8 kilos. So if your setup is heavier than 1.8, then you might consider getting the Crane M3. But keep in mind that the Crane M3 is more pricier, I think $369, while the Aircross S is priced at around $260. Uh, Moza also comes with a dedicated app called the Moza Master app. Now you can't use the app to film with your smartphone unfortunately but there are many other functionalities in it that you can use uh, for me personally I don't use the integrated app as I mostly stick with the default app or use you know professional apps like Filmic Pro or the pro camera app by moment uh, if I need more control over my camera so who's the Moza Aircross S4? Now for those who only use their smartphone without any add-ons, then you might want to consider other options such as the DJI Osmo Mobile 6. But if you're someone who likes to use a heavier setup, such as a setup like this, where you know your payload is above those 200 grams that smaller gimbals are capable of carrying, then the Aircross S is definitely something for you. And also if you're looking for a future-proofed 
a gimbal that can not only handle a heavier smartphone setup, but also want to mount a small DSLR camera or an action camera, this is also a great option. And if you're a content creator yourself and also want to shoot a vertical video, then this is also something you might want to look into. Yeah, so with that said, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Moza Aircross S. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment. And also if you're interested in learning more on how to film professionally with your smartphone, make sure to check out smartphonefilmmaking.com. Other than that, I wish you guys a great week. Take care and I'll see you guys the next time. Thank you.